hurry up. It's raining and it's 40 degrees outside and smoggy and the quality of life in this city is deteriorating and the subway is going to be packed to the teeth today because of rampant overpopulation and zoning constraints. pursue a career as a South Pacific fisherman, but reality got in the way. Now, I gotta work as an extra in the Broadway musical production of The Lion King. Hence the face paint, the formal attire. Formal? What do you usually wear? Little. Look, son, if I could give you any advice, it would be to pursue your dreams. Forget school, your friends, your mother especially. Well, forget school. You're going to Boynton, Montana, Kimberly Sasha Browning. Anyway, I gotta go be killed by a bunch of lion poachers. What is my life become? Daddy, why are you leaving me? Follow your dream, son. See you in another six. And stop chewing tobacco, it's a disgusting habit. Kimmy? What are you doing home so early? I was going to watch Oprah reruns. Mom, I gotta talk to you about something. Oh yeah? Did it really warrant you skipping your expensive private school? It's important. Spit out your tobacco before you speak. That's a disgusting habit, you know. Listen, Mama. I'm gonna be moving to Boynton, Montana. I'm gonna sleep by a campfire and look up at the stars and wear my Colt 45. Hey, sweetie. You can't, though. Why don't you come and watch Oprah reruns with me? Mama, I see women crying up as it is. Why can't I go? Uh, Kim, you can't go because you've got your friends here. You've got your very expensive private school here. Oprah's here. And I'm here. I hate my expensive private schools. My friends are all gunsels, and you've got like nine boyfriends anyway. You'll be fine. I've told you never to bring up my nine boyfriends. Kim, I really didn't want to say this, but you're too Stupid to go to Boynton, Montana. <laughs> You'd probably die of dehydration on the trip. Get this Montana shit out of your mind. <laughs> Maybe wear some real clothing once in a while as well. Damn, Mama. It's uncalled for. <laughs> Hannah, I've just got to do it. Prove everyone wrong. Let them know that I can go to Boynton, Montana. That I can make a living out there. And that it's the right life choice for me. And that most importantly, I can't hydrate along the way. I'm gonna leave today. I'm sorry, baby. I need my 45. Kim, good to see you. You sold those uh, two dollars I lent you last week, asshole? Yeah, it's all here. Thanks. So, Kim, what, uh, what brings you here on a day like today? I need my six-shot Colt Peacemaker back. Your six-shot Colt Peacemaker? Don't be an ass. Give it back. I don't remember any six-shot Colt Peacemaker. When you 
you said I could borrow it to take care of my little, uh, inheritance issue, and now I've grown accustomed to having it around the house. Did say that, but now I need it back. Why do you need it? Listen, just give him my gun, and stop being such a goddamn gunzel, okay? A what? Gunzel. Gunzel. It's a derogatory term, okay? Oh, it's a derogatory term. Yes. You know what, Kim? I'm not the one being a gunzel here. You decided to harass me in the first place. Right. Goddamn gunzel. Can I just have my gun back? It's in my room, damn it. And spit that tobacco out. It's a disgusting habit. Here it is. Yep. Not so fast, Kim. Like I said, I've grown very fond of this gun, and I'm sure you and I, being reasonable businessmen, can work out a deal. How about your wallet? This wallet? That wallet. Why don't we talk about that wallet? This wallet? That wallet. Ah! Ah! Get me out of here, you son of a bitch! Ah, I will have you flogged! I will kill you! Get me out of here! I'll see you around, okay? Get me out of here! Where you going? Come back here! Unjive me now! Did you even get in here? Air vents. Just kidding. Your mom left the front door open. I have myself with some scotch. Yeah, it's good stuff. What are you doing here, Browning? You have something that I want. For like the sixth time, my sister's off in college, okay? Not that. Spurs? Huh? Yeah, agreed. Oh, dude, is that chewing tobacco? It's really a disgusting habit. Okay, well, I'm glad we settled this, like, civilized men, huh? Yeah, I mean, uh, well, you, you did have a gunpoint at me the whole time, and I'll definitely be uh, filing police report after. It's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Well, I <laughs> hope you have a good night. Oh, yeah, you too. Safe travels, man. No. Damn it, sir. Hey. May I ask you my services? What do you mean, like prostitution? Oh god, no! I mean like fixing fencing, flooring, roofing, rounding up cattle. Ha, kid! You think anybody needs those services here? Useless. Those those are useless things for the general public here. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous! Is that chewing tobacco? Spit that out. That's gross. Amazing. Amazing. The lack of uneducated kids in this country is just amazing. These freaking kids think they're so entitled. It's unbelievable. Well, I quit my job down at the car wash. I left my mama a goodbye note. 
By sundown I left Kingston with my guitar under my coat I hitchhiked all the way down to Memphis, got a room at the YMCA For the next three weeks I went a hunting them night, but looking for a place to play Well I thought my picking would set them on This is what I loved about yesterday, my big breakthrough is um, that everything is based around your story Yes. And that most people are stuck because of the story that they told themselves 10 years ago. Yeah. Evening, ma'am. I'm sorry to disturb you. You have a telegram. Telegram? You still have those? Yes. It reads, Mama, stop. I've made it to Boynton, Montana. Stop. It's lovely here, and I've gotten a job as a ranch hand. Stop. Every day I wake up at 4 a stop, M, stop, and milk the cows and ride horses and graze the cattle and fix fencing and drive an old truck, and it's amazing. Stop. I've instructed the man that gives you this telegram, me, to give you the $300 that I owe you. Stop. Love you. Take care. Stop. Your son, Kim. Stop. Also, I continue to chew tobacco. Screw you. Stop. Three hundred dollars? Three hundred. He took five hundred. And a visa. Your son's a badass. Have a nice day, lady. Mm -hmm.